Okay, welcome back, and we're going to take a look at getting this model cleaned up so we can start doing some fun sculpting and other stuff on it. So if you remember in earlier videos, I was talking about how I didn't like there wasn't a split down this tail. We want to use a mirror modifier on this so that we do our work on half of it, and the other half of it just updates automatically. Well, to do that, we're going to need to split this tail down the middle. So if we hit the Z button up here and go into a top view, and then in edit mode, we can come down here to the knife tool. We can zoom in and start at this triangle and click once. Go all the way to the bottom of the tail, right to that point, and then click again. Hit enter to accept our selection, and then we've split that. Now we have to do the same thing on the bottom, so we're going to click the negative Z to go to that view. We'll zoom in. Go all the way to the bottom of the tail again. And then hit enter. So now you can see we've split the tail. So the next thing that we can do is go to the front view. Now we want to be able to select all of the polygons of the model. To do that we're going to need to toggle on x-ray so that we can see everything. And we're going to do a selection box. We're going to try to grab all the one side. Hit delete. Hit faces. Now you can see We've got everything cut in half. Now once we have things cut in half, we can go back to object mode, click on the little wrench, add a modifier, type in mirror, and there we go. So we're going to turn off the x-ray mode. If we go back into edit mode, Let's see, if we select this edge, hold down Alt, and click another spot on there, it'll select the entire thing. Now, one of the things that I want to do is get rid of some of this. I don't want it selected all the way down. But we're going to move it now. So if we hit G and then Z, you notice that we can move things around. So, if I move that down a little bit, it rounds it off, and then you can see that what's happening is everything we do on one side is now happening on the other. So let's just grab a couple of these edges, move them down a little bit. Nothing major, just a little bit. And some of these we're going to need to move around a little bit too. We'll deal more with that a little bit later. But I just wanted you to see that anything you do on one side is now going to happen on the other. Now that we have the tail split, we don't need these edges. So we can right click and we can dissolve the edge. And then you see it gives us quads again. Now down here, we're going to leave this for right now, but we will fix this later on. We have an area where there's a triangle here and a triangle here, so we're going to try to clean that up also. Uh, we have this spot right here that we need to fix. So let's go ahead and deal with that now. So knife tool select that for come over here about right there carry it over hit enter now we want to grab that and that edge and dissolve so now we have quads again I'm going to tackle that in the next video I know there's also a spot down here on the foot where there's a triangle, 
couple triangles. I don't care for that. Some down here. So we're, we'll clean those up in the next one. But we're going to throw a um, subdivision surface modifier on here and take a look at things. That looks pretty good. All right, in the next video, we're gonna do some cleanup on the leg. So I'll see you then.